Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Hold on. Mm, true. <laughs> Y'all learned a little too much. Hold uh, on. So. Franklin Bartholomew Stone. I'm back. Chris, you're the director. But like, part of the job is working with people you trust and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way because I'm the director. Hold still, let me clean you off. Hey, but you, Imadi. Finally get my intro off. You can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. What is that background noise? Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. What, 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 why is there so much, whatever. Why is there so much like animosity in the air? This, this is just a regular acting thing. Jesus real. Christ. Worth you guys want me to leave? All right, all Have right. you heard it? People, everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, Linda, loosen up a bit. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. What? How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now. Unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail. I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Why Ms. is Gordon. she smiling? Miss Christine Gordon. <laughs> I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Why Ever. is you hating? Really, nigga? Reluctant? Fuck all that. We getting our shoots in. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Why are you being the dick? All right, then arrest us. Oh, what? me? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're gonna be doing any more filming today. Not with that. Linda! the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Why everybody got cheeks? Really? Wait, hold on, not like that. I meant to say why the, all the girls got cheeks. I meant to say why the girls got... Time out. I meant to say why do all the women have cheeks? Not everybody. Let me make it exclusive. Okay, time out. Relax. We, we're spinning back, obviously. Right? Look, they all got... God damn, okay. Shit. We're spinning back, right? We gotta leave the car up front, though.
All wrapped out, sir. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. We're yes, gonna sir. call Robert and tell Robert to call in sick or something. So that way you have to stay home and watch him. So he's the sheriff? I thought the sheriff was the other dude. Oh, that's why he said, my boss? Something happened. Hmm. I'm locked in now, I'm locked in. Wrong. But what happened to make him lose his sheriff position and who is Robert? Bartholomew Green. Everybody middle name Bartholomew. So let's spin back, obviously. God damn, look at all that pollution. <laughs> Shit. Man, this world is done. And Linda dropped the camera. I forgive her though, cause she thick. Ugh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh. Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? She's killing Gothic. me. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Mm. Why not? Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Yo, I swear Why she doesn't going? know anything. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> I can't Doesn't date her. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not, not entirely Gotham. true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Yo, the mood swings now. is crazy. Be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mail killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we- Frank Stone. Fr huh. Franklin Brotharmule. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on the Netflix <gasps> by then. Probably not. What? Hold on. I think I got it all wrong. I think I think Green became the. Oh, okay. So he shot. Okay, I got it completely wrong. He became the. He became the the sheriff afterwards. I thought I was onto something. Pull around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? What do you think? Puzzled or probing? Uh, let's, let's, these are the right questions. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any like kind it. of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline. The dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss Beebe once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss Beebe thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. 
Yeah, let's leave it's that in the dirt. History. Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. Really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. Hmm. Yes, he does. Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah. Saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but... Shit, why did I let her like ask these I good questions? probably go right to the source. Yep, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I really shouldn't After have. After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> Oh, shit. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me, too? You act like he can't beat your ass! Howdy, partner. How's lap on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing, sorry. Ugh, why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? Nah, you look like tonight will be the night. Like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. Psh, more like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Let's go with this. Yeah. But Ma's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. Right. Yeah. Of course you're right. You need to tighten up. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I got it. Yo, these mood swings the is crazy. Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh oh. Butter up. What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, Bread. Well, we're making this movie. And money. We're so close to finishing. But we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Uh, about $250. Casual, nervous. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's get 12 bucks. Read, nigga! Read! <laughs> We're going for Just 12. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really need it to finish the film? Hey, I'm I'm gonna yeah. send it. I ain't about a casual nun. I'm I need the braid. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Cause I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. Take it. <sighs> all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. I was always asking for the bread. Shit, we finished the movie. 
I already seen the end. I might as well send it. Wiggly. I'm fine. It's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's How about you take a damn right shower? Now. Anyone could go? Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> I hate this bitch. Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Yeah, let's go to let's go to the let's go to this one. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead I'm the way. over her. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. Night and day. You're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. That is so cap. That makes no sense. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello? What the fuck? Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. How much was 20 bucks in 1980? Like, maybe a hundred? Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Fuck that. I ain't looking for shit. I'm standing near the home? door. Near? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> y'all are nerds. I love it. I love y'all. You're growing on me, shorty, but I made you tighten up. Damn, bro. My lord. Yeah, I think it might be. It might just be the jeans. I don't know what was they putting in them jeans in nineteen in nineteen eighty. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, cute bunny. Linda, Linda. What in the fuck? A lot of Dead by Daylight, uh, that, that's from the Huntress, I'm pretty sure. Crazy. <laughs> look, look, even Linda is pay. Okay, what, what's going on? Let's see. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like, so bummed out. Nigga! You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. I don't know about this one, Coach. Where'd you get this? Did you get this from the murder mill? It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? 
Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? I'm lying. On my soul. 20 bucks. Yeah, it's pretty old. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Now you're speaking my language. One of a kind. Okay. Handmade. It's for luck. Shit. Let's go for it. Let's do, why not? It's free. Well, I'm gonna take it. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. I'm pretty sure it's it's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. I think I got yeah. swindled. Yep, that's us. I don't like this music. I think I just got bamboozled. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? I like her. Yep, she's growing on me. She's growing on me. So why didn't we all come into the store? Hold on, where the fridge at? Don't tell me the fridge is in the corner. Why are you making me grab it? Why is it so slow? What the what the hell is that about? Hold on, hold on. What, you, what, what am I inspecting? Okay, nice. We just robbed the the drugstore. Why not? I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill, if we had any cash to spare, which we. Absolutely do not. Okay, so let's just go to the counter and stop wasting our time because we ain't buying shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Chris. Robert! Roberto! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> You can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all flirted a little too much. Oh, uh, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. Am I, am I bugging or is this right, too flirtatious? 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Hold on! Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever we can't I can hurt. get my hands Get on. my boy in the movie. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if 
you're into that kind of thing. Hell yo. <sighs> Super into it. But... <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Yeah, he done kicked he us out about four times. like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. What are you talking? Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Yeah, we're definitely okay. getting fandangled. There's no way he's going to ride home. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Well, 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 Sheriff Bartholomew. What you want to do? What you think you're going to catch me? You're never going to catch me lacking. I'm prepared. You Chris. Go. I'm going back to the mail. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Hold on. He told me about Franklin. Damn it, I, I it. never see the top one. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. Oh yeah, we gonna find out about Franklin Bartholomew. You ready? If he dies, I'm gonna be pressed. Take care. How does he still have a shoulder? Like Franklin didn't hey, put hey, us hey, up hey. on a fucking like a coat I can hanger. Get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's Fuck make a yes. movie. <laughs> they too flirtatious. Hey man, let her choose. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. Uh, this bitch and is now, Harleen. A new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Oh, this bitch is on the that. camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Well, damn. If Robert dies, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hot. Just watching me? Okay. Uh, mm. Bad dream. Yeah, I'm a pro. Bad dream. Ugh. How long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. Fifteen, twenty minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that yeah, we're all awake trifling. again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand thousand feet, exactly. feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh. What did you mean about? Right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. 
Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. I'm out. Whatever the girl's name is, Chris? Chris? Chris is, 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 is Thing's mom. Wrong. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, Everybody got right? cheeks. I prefer Chris not to fun. dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> uh, we're gonna peek behind the curtain. Now, if it was me, I would have went home a long time ago, so I wouldn't even be in this situation. But, I mean, we might as well. What are you waiting for? Why everybody flirting with everybody? Oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Shut up, bro, you before she come back and hit us with a Hadouken. This kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Hmm. Yeah, let me hear it. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber, a lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with her cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. We're getting paid, is what he's saying. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Hmm. Can't deny and... this place would make an incredible film location. What kind of film are we talking? <laughs> uh... I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheap from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like bro, a come super on, bro. VIP club. It was edition. going so well. Matter of fact, these two are perfect for each other. Sure. They talk. They I'm both talk too much. Secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> they both talk too much. So you know what? They're oh, perfect. You can be sure of that. 
They're perfect for each other. They both talk way too damn much. Y'all just gonna stand there? The fuck? Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. I'm lost. Hey, I thought her mom was quite Chris. Sad. Very touching. Shut up, bro. Um, shit, let's comfort her for a bit. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. She had two. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. Oh, <clears throat> we need. Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Chat, bro. Dead ass. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And I like Stan, I'm not gonna lie. He's cool. I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Samuel. Not Samuel. Stanford. Listen here, Stanford. No, no, you, no. Stanford. Don't, don't you, don't walk away from me. Stanford. Stanford. Happy feet. Happy feet. Oh my God, bro, just hit me with a mean ankle breaker. You know what? I respect it. I can't hate. I can't hate the game. Cool statue. Yep. Don't care. Hmm, missing a piece though. Wow. Powerful resi Whoa. Are Quite we playing piece. Resident Evil? Look at Evil? the metalwork. It's beautiful. Are we playing Resident? What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Back up. Let me look at this. What am I looking at? Franklin. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Wait, what does it say? What does it say? Who does it say took it down? Uh, 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 look of fear, Cedric Hill. Wow. I should check on Maddie. Can't be Kusty. easy meeting someone from her mom's past. And Sam Green didn't care. He was just like, whatever. Take you want to take the credit? Take it. Yeah. And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a Looks way. Looks like out. it opens with a key. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. I'm sorry. What? This bitch is talking to herself. I'm cool. That's the piece I found in the... In the, um... In the shop. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, 
No, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. Who's your she other mom? She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? You gave us 20 uh, bucks. Gosh. We only well, made the film because of her. Your mom's looking the reason we in this situation. She was the most girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Yeah, why not? Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. I thought Jaime was her dad and Chris Everything's was her mom. still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. Right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. Did she got a band or something? Was that moment? Nothing else. Damn, she thick too. Everybody thinking this show. That was your mom. Oh my lord. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. Look at what? What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there. I don't care what they after. Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's gonna need a new pair of jeans. Um, Y'all gonna need a new pair of jeans. Do you should be worried? I mean, what if they're not, dangerous? Not him. I don't care what he get. Maybe we should find Augustine and let her know. But the Even females in this show. Her. Good luck finding her. She Oatmeal. said she was going to her private you know what I mean? reliquary. <laughs> That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Sure. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Who is this? That might be Robert. Taking them so long. I thought <gasps> we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Oh my god, they're getting freaky. 
I knew it. I knew. I knew they were too flirtatious. Well, loaded up. I told you. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Fuck it. Let's get excited. Right hey, on time. Hey, right on time. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me Damn. more. I've spent like all day no, looking insane. up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <clears throat> and... Yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I aim to please. <laughs> they are too flirtatious. Oh, that reminds me. They are too me. flirtatious. Now that you are Chee -chee an on official them. member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. Robert, if you put that shit you on, it's like shit on Wear the stripes, you gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> He's they too flirt. They way too flirtatious, Jaime. I'm gonna just be real with you. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah. So Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie black in the officer. very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Guess not. Let's not be a big. Let's be not. real. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Come on, Jaime, let's be real about it. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. They bugging. I'm A. I mean, I gotta end this episode. I ain't gonna hold you, Harmy. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill. I think I'm overreacting. I don't think they're being. The mills they might be. In, they might be being a little That's why friendly. I'm sure I mean, gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely. Everything there's Unless sure can't get enough Frank stuff. No, I can't talk, bro. Okay, so let's break this down. The reason I'm, I feel like her and Robert a little too flirtatious. It's, it's that it's not about what's going on right now. That's regular. They just working right now. It's the stuff that happened in the in the drugstore or whatever. They, they was the way she put her hands on the table, like the way. That, mm, I don't know about that. But right now, right now, I'm not seeing nothing that's like okay. But the way they showed up late. I mean, were they doing something like, or were they doing yeah. something? You Look feel me? This. Like, milk sure projection. No one was sad to see it go. Season. It mentions Frank. No, but uh, it goes into the mindset of the workers. And, okay. People oh, were I depressed. Wish I could talk. There were suicides. At the mill? I Not wonder if Linda's mill, okay like, with all this Frank Stone there, stuff. Got laid off. Damn. I mean, I wish I could talk. a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... 
I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Man, close this dumbass book. What am I looking at? An omni. What kind of hippie? Far out. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and the little before. Oh, good thinking. Nah, I don't want to turn it on because they might get upset. Because they're working right now. experience anything like that now before or since and don't reckon I ever will again <laughs> heck I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green the man's a hero damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit damn crying shame he'll talk about up it I'm finding stone at the mill Sam Green he knew better he came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny in that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Mm hmm. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. the whole past. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do one more scene and then. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Hmm. Understandable. You should. If you seen what I seen, big fella, nah, we not gonna be insecure. Hmm. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Hello? 